Wow, another YouTuber talking about how to get big on YouTube by watching a YouTube tutorial. Yep, sounds about right. Hey guys, it's Seto, and we're back again doing a how-to tutorial. This time we're gonna show you how to make a YouTube banner and a YouTube thumbnail using RenderForest products. Let's begin. Be sure to watch the end of the video to claim your promo code, but don't wait too long because it's only good for one month after the video is published. So let's start with banners. Banners are used to customize your channel, much like you would with a Facebook or LinkedIn banner. It's also used to display your personal name or your channel name. If you're new to YouTube, I would suggest and recommend that you add some types of icons, pictures, phrases, or taglines that help explain what your channel and your content direction is about. Let's take a look at a few examples on how other companies use banners in their pages. For example, first let's look at Architecture Digest. If you look at their banner, they only have a picture, but it clearly shows that their channel is about interior design or architecture. Next, look at Bon Appetit. They don't have pictures or taglines to explain that it's about food, but they have almost 6 million subscribers, so people clearly know what their channel is about. So they can get away with just their name and no pictures or taglines. Apple, for example, they're showcasing a product, so you can change your banner occasionally depending on seasons, products, updates, or things like that. So, for example, with, with Apple, they're using their banner to uh, showcase their new product. In this case, it's an iPad and a new M1 chip. Last is Vogue. They have one of the highest subscribers uh, on our examples here today. They don't have any taglines. All they have is just one picture and not even their channel name. But since their subscribers are so large, they don't even need to explain what they do because it's Vogue. In all the examples that I talked about, if you notice on the bottom right hand corner, all of them link to social media. Some have more links, some have less links. Think to yourself, which is the most important for your YouTube audience to link to? All right, now let's talk about sizes. The minimum dimensions for your banner sizes should be 2048 by 1152 pixels with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. At the minimum dimensions, the safe area for your text and logo to be within your banner is 1235 or 338 pixels. Larger images may be cut off depending on the device being used to view your banner. And lastly, the image size has to be at least or under six megabytes. All right, so let's get started. First thing you wanna do is go and open up a new browser, head to renderforest.com, and then you wanna to go to graphic design go to social media and Facebook posts. The reason why we're going to Facebook posts is because we don't have a designated section for the YouTube banners, but this uh, Facebook posts aspects and ratio is close enough, and then we'll crop it down within YouTube. So I like this template here, and like usual, the first thing that I start off with is the image. So we're gonna look for a new image. One of our viewers suggested to do a video on Corvettes, so that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna pick a nice Corvette picture. I like this one. I think the color of the car goes good with the template that's already picked out. And I'm just gonna fit it and crop it to size. And like I was talking before, you wanna make sure that your text is within that sweet zone or that sweet spot. So that way if you view it on different devices, it can be seen across different platforms and we're just gonna download it. And here you go, download. And there you have your banner. Next, let's talk about thumbnails. Video thumbnails let your viewers see a quick snapshot of your video as they're browsing YouTube. After your video is finished uploading, you can choose from one of the three that is automatically made by YouTube, or you could upload your own custom thumbnail. I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom thumbnail. There are three main rules that most YouTubers live by when creating their thumbnail. First is large readable text. Second is simple and uncluttered pictures or designs. And last is showing the character with extreme emotions or showing the object that you're gonna be talking about within your video. All right, before we get started in the tutorial, there's a couple of sizes that you should know about when creating your thumbnail. Uh, for YouTube thumbnails, you should keep within these aspects. You should have the resolution of at least 1280 by 720. The minimum width has to be 640 pixels. Make sure that your image is uploaded as an image type of file, so either JPEG, GIF, or PNG. Make sure that the image is staying within two megabytes. And then also, it's suggested that your aspect ratio is 16 by nine, because that's the most common use for the YouTube players and previews. All right, let's get started. So to start making your thumbnail, you're gonna to go to graphic design, social media, 
YouTube thumbnail. Now, my banner is about cars and we don't have a template that is specifically for cars. So I'm gonna get a little creative. I'm gonna use this template called gaming and tech video thumbnails and then click create now. First thing I usually do is start off with the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and search in our stock images for another Corvette picture. And I like this first one. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with the text and the icons until I like the way it looks. So this is where you're gonna play around with your header, your text, you can change the color if you'd like. I'm gonna change the color to make it pop against the white car and then hit download. And there you go. There is your new thumbnail. And there you have it, an almost custom made YouTube banner and YouTube thumbnail. Quicker than learning graphic design software and cheaper than hiring a professional. Thank you for sticking with us so far. The promo code that appears on your screen now, you can use during checkout for your first paid subscription. If you got something out of this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for future notifications. If you have a question about this video or a suggestion for a future video, please be sure to leave it in the comments down below. Good luck and have fun.